Hello there. Welcome to my campfire. My name is Seraphine, the Midnight Bard, and I travel from place to place seeking the strange, the bizarre, and the unexplained. Mankind seems to multiply more and more with each passing day. Cities have grown taller to provide space for all of their inhabitants, and it doesn't matter where you go, it seems like there's always someone around. It can sometimes be a little difficult to find some time alone to be with your thoughts. It's why some answer the call of the road. When overwhelmed with the noise of daily life, a quiet, lonely drive down vast empty spaces can be just what one needs to decompress. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that being away from people doesn't always mean being alone. There are things that lurk just outside of your vision that are present more often than you'd think. One should beware when they travel too far from the havens of mankind, for you never know when you might inadvertently pick up an unseen passenger. There's something in my passenger seat. It's a long drive from my brother's place in Austin. He insisted I visit. He said that no one should be alone for the holidays. I left this place sometime after midnight. It was after I left the city lights behind that I noticed it in my peripheral vision. I felt it before I saw it. That feeling that I was being watched. Judged. I dared not turn my head to look. It, it was the shadow at the edge of my vision. It was the creeping darkness at the edge of dusk. I took my eyes off the road for the briefest second. There was nothing in my passenger seat. My muscles tensed. I started grinding my teeth. Something gnawed at my stomach. It made its way up and stopped somewhere in my throat. I kept on driving, even though there was something in my passenger seat. What would happen if I stopped? What would happen when I got home? Should I even go home? As these thoughts raced through my mind, my eyes started from road to periphery. I couldn't shake the feeling that I should not look at the passenger seat. So I looked again. Alarm bells ringing, hairs on my neck standing at attention, but there was nothing in my passenger seat. So I drove with something in my passenger seat. I glanced down at my fuel gauge. I would need to stop soon. S something told me I shouldn't stop. My knuckles cracked under the pressure, turned white. I felt my foot edge onto the gas, watched the speedometer climb. I tried to swallow the thing in my throat, but it wouldn't budge. I glanced at my passenger seat again. It was empty. My neck felt hot. Beads of sweat formed on my brow. Focus on the road. Ink bled into my vision. Tendrils reaching from the depths. I looked. The passenger seat was empty. I wanted there to be something there. I wanted there to be some horrifying monster. Instead, there was nothing but the shadow on the edge of my vision. There was something in my passenger seat. 
There was nothing in my passenger seat. The gas station was fast approaching. I could see the lights on the horizon. I needed to stop. I couldn't stop. My muscles strained. My brain could do nothing but focus on the thing in my passenger seat. The thing that wasn't in my passenger seat. Just another mile. I could stop. I could stretch my legs. I could get a snack. I wanted nothing more than to get out of this car. My heart sank as the entrance disappeared in my rearview mirror. I flew by. I couldn't stop. Because there was something in my passenger seat. The light became a pinprick on the horizon. The ink tugged at my pupils. There was nothing in my passenger seat. My car slowed. My car stopped. There is something in my passenger seat. Hey there, Campfire Gang. If you enjoyed today's story, be sure to visit the author's Wattpad page. There, you'll find a collection of stories guaranteed to send a shiver down your spine. Thank you for watching, and remember, darkness welcomes the inquiring.